This is the Yihua 936A2 soldering station. I've been using the all-in-one soldering wands for some time now and have been wanting something that is easier to use and less obstructive. This package has the station itself, iron holder, iron, changeable tips, and features adjustable temperature as well as auto shut off to maintain temps while you're working. Let's open it up and see what's inside. First thing we see here is some documentations and uh, operation papers, along with a little card. Next thing we have is this box that contains the power cord. It comes with some soldering wire. It is one millimeter, it seems, and it does say on it that it contains a no clean flux. Tucked away in the side over here is the iron itself. Comes in a nice little plastic package and with a nice blue color and a cover on the tip. And inside the box, we also find some replaceable tips and different types of tips. Next we have the iron stand, which comes with a tip cleaner, copper wool in the front, a tiny sponge right below it, surrounded by some heat resistant silicone. On the back and the top, we have some slots that hold the extra tips. Next we have this soldering station itself. The front has uh, the temperature control, power switch, and the socket where you uh, plug in the iron itself. On the side we have some mounting brackets for extras that come separately, and on the back we have the power plug for the power cord. Here is everything put together. The iron comes with this plastic cover and removing it reveals an already installed tip. To change the tips, it's fairly simple. All you need to do is unscrew this outer sleeve. Take off the tip that you don't want to use anymore and pick out a new one and just slide it back on. There isn't any force needed to replace these, they just kind of slide off and slide back on and when you're done, you just screw on the outer sleeve. In addition to some rubber feet, the iron stand has some rails on the bottom that can be mounted to the top of the station. sort of just snap in. I personally prefer to stand to be separated from the station so I can move it around while I'm working. Powering it on has a nice click to it too. I also got this practice board off Amazon to test out the soldering station. I spent about two or three hours on this with no problems from the station at all. I have to say this is way better than working with one of those all-in-one irons. I would definitely recommend this product for anyone who wants something better than an all-in-one iron, but also doesn't want to spend a whole lot. And when you're all done, the copper wool is there to help you clean off any excess solder off your tip that might have built up over time. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was informative to someone who might be looking into either this iron or another iron like it. Have a nice day.